welcome once again to another video thanks as always guys for tuning in and um you know as always let me just let tell you guys how appreciative i am for you to take time out of your busy schedule to tune into another video all right guys and also please remember to like the video share the video subscribe if you haven't already done so and hit that notification bell guys and please please comment let us know let what you think about the video and you know as always i should say you know the likes and the comments of the channel to you know get some feedbacks and stuff all right so guys um you know uh, i've been saying for a while now jamaica jamaica is not a normal place anymore guys trust me it's not a normal place anymore and you know uh, i also have been saying that um you know it's it, it's like some some demons have dropped in jamaica you know that is wreaking havoc on the country and, and, and to be honest it's not just jamaica alone you know it's on the whole world but you know we have to highlight jamaica when it when it needs to you know because some things have been going on it's like you know the place has turned upside down so as you can see on the screen um it says two cops in custody the third flees the island in murder case so guys i'm gonna be this video it's, it's gonna be kind of a quick video you know just to give um you guys who hasn't heard about this case you know to tell you about it and for those who have heard about it um you know maybe hopefully something in there um you know you didn't hear before so you will be getting an update all right guys so um on thursday um july 14 of this year at about 6 p.m an inspector of police leading a squad of police went you know on a raid in in the red hills area so they went to a bar run by a man by the name of philip wallace along with his girlfriend right so the police conducted a search of the bar which on information you know it's not the first that the police have been to that bar where you know they search and this man is, un is known for selling you know not just alcohol but weed also so it is known that Phil philip sell weed at the bar so three policemen from the squad went inside the bar conducted a search of and found 200 parcels of weed and those 200 parcels of weed is 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 sticks of weed right so philip wallace was arrested taken to the concern spring police station in kingston and charged for possession of of the weed so it is said that mr wallace was being processed by an officer at the diu that's the divisional intelligence unit right so mr wallace told the officer officer that that was processed when he was while he was being processed he said to the officer that he didn't know he was still going to be charged because he gave the police the three police that went into the bar he gave them fifteen thousand dollars so as not to be charged right so guys the diau officer called the inspector that led the squad that was in you know led the squad in the raid and informed him you know as to what mr wallace you know alleged so it is it, it is also said that these three policemen allegedly asked mr wallace to give them one hundred and fifty thousand dollars one hundred and fifty thousand dollars so the inspector launched an investigation into the matter and you know mr wallace was given station bail right so word on the, word on the street guys is that the policemen were still calling mr wallace and his girlfriend to give them money because as i said before they asked for one hundred and fifty thousand dollars right but guys um you see all life all life is funny because 
they ask, they, they ask the man for money, right? So as not to be charged for the weed, right? He gave it. He, he told them that he didn't have the money of 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 one hundred and fifty dollars. So he gave them what he had, which was fifteen thousand dollars, right? But the man was was still charged. He was taken to the station and charged, right? So what does that say, guys? They already forfeited their end of the deal, right? So if you're gonna take somebody's money, so you know as to drop the case on them, and but yet still. You know, he was still being charged. No, you know, how you're still going to be asking the man for money. You know what I mean? So, anyway, guys. <laughs> so, you, so guys, you see the corruption, you know, that we're, we're, we have always been talking about. And, and then these policemen, they wonder why citizens are not so keen on dealing with, with, with them or giving them information on, on things that they know about. Crimes are committed, and trust me, most of the time someone knows what is going on or, or have seen what is going on. But, you know, people, because of the corruption and, and all of that of the police, the same police, people are always afraid to give information, right? So, guys, listen carefully to this now. These three policemen were informed of the allegations that Mr. Wallace told the DIU officer that he paid them $15,000 not to be charged. And an investigation was launched in, and that an investigation was launched, you know, as to, to on, the, on, the, on the allegations as to what was going on, right? So on Saturday, July 16 of this year, guys, again, Mr. Wallace was standing outside his bar under a tree talking on his phone when one of one of those famous white Toyota Axia drove up. And, you know, for, for those of you who, who, you know, don't know, most of these, uh, what do you call it, drive-by shootings or, you know, stuff like that where you, you, you hear the news says um, a car drove up. Three quarters of the time it's an Axio, as they are called, Toyota Axio. So that's why I use the term famous white Toyota Axio. So the Axio drove up and three three armed men jumped out of the, 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 the car, opened fire on Mr. Wallace standing under the tree and shot him all over his body, guys. All right? So it is said that Mr. Wallace died on the spot because of the amount of um, shot he got you know, all over his body, under the tree. So as if they're not, they weren't satisfied. Or I think maybe they wanted both him and his girlfriend dead. So they turned they, they turn, turn and open fire in the direction of the bar. You know, but luckily um, the girlfriend who was standing in the bar, she ran, you know, or I guess she started running you know, upon seeing that her boyfriend was being shot down under the tree, right? So she ran, ran through a back door, you know, and luckily for her, she didn't, she escaped without getting shot. So, you know, she has to give thanks, out, you know, for that. So guys, tell me what you think. And um, I'm, 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 I'm asking you guys now, what do you think, you know, or who do you think, um, did that incident or is responsible for that incident or is it a coincidence right okay At, if if you guess the policeman then you guess right so mr wallace you know as i told you mr, mr. wallace's girlfriend she got away you know and yes you are correct she guess she told she told them that um she were she was able to identify the three policemen right the same three policemen that went to the bar searched the bar found the weed and you know they gave them fifteen thousand dollars as to not being charged right so guys these 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 demon police 
you know um they they because they didn't want they, they didn't want to get um what you call it now charged or whatever you know because the investigation was going on on them so they must have thought that killing mr wallace and his girlfriend you know they would have gotten away scot free but luckily for the girlfriend she got away <laughs> i'm telling you man this these you can you believe this guys these are policemen these are policemen and these are the reasons why i said that um there are some demons let loose down in jamaica there right so guys even a bigger investigation was launched because now mr wallace is is now dead right so two of the policemen you know as a result of the investigation was arrested but it is said that the third one identified as corporal dennis boarded a fl flight guys the same evening after mr wallace was 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 shot and killed and guys why you think he did that yes because he didn't he knew the girlfriend got away and she was she knew you know she would have he knew she would have identified them right so it is alleged it is alleged that you know he is now in miami blending in i guess in miami um but as you know there was an there was a news conference where superintendent fitz bailey said you know uh, that they, they they are getting information and they are working with their international counterparts that is that would have been the you know police from miami and whoever else but he's working they're working with their their um international counterparts to catch up with this corporal this corporal um corporal dennis right and you know he also said he is guaranteeing that he will be caught and extradited back to jamaica so guys we will be we will definitely be watching this one you know and bring you guys you know the necessary information as it as it arises or work itself out you know so we we'll see guys if he definitely will be caught and extradited back to jamaica because trust me this is this is such a wicked wicked act for 200 sticks of 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 weed right first of all you shouldn't be they shouldn't even be offering the man money to pay them money to let him go all right moreover because you get caught or you're gonna be caught then you you, you want to kill somebody for that so anyway guys thanks again for tuning in as always and um you know remember to like the video share the video subscribe if you haven't already done so and um hit that notification bell guys and comment 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 let us know what you guys think all right so blessed love guys peace Thank you.